Welcome, I'm Paul, and today I'll demonstrate four ways to save in Vim so you can start editing faster. I'll start with the quick answer, then we'll do it in Vim. So saving and quitting in Vim is confusing to many, but it's easy if you can answer three questions. Do you want to stay in Vim? Has the file been saved before? And did you make changes? So first, to stay in Vim and save changes to an existing file, type colon W. And this and other answers assume you used escape to return from insert mode to normal mode. Second, to stay in Vim and save changes to a non-existing file, type colon W, a space, and the new file name. To leave Vim and save changes to an existing file, number three, type colon WQ, and fourth, to leave Vim and not save changes, type colon Q exclamation. That's the quick answer, and worry not, with experience your mind will take over and do this automatically. Let's press on for more coding tips. And this is my 209th video, and subscribers suggested that I post code examples on my website. So in a bit, I'll show you what it looks like. The first link in the description goes straight there. And sadly, the first opportunity to save for many Vim beginners is their last. Because of this confusion, the Vim and Vi editors are modal editors requiring users to perform actions in one of several modes. The first three we learn are normal mode for navigating, insert mode for editing, command mode for entering commands. It is this concept of modes that makes editing fast once you memorize the keystrokes. On top of that, the lack of a menu system and a tricky Vim help system steepens the learning curve. For those who stick with it, though, the benefits outweigh the cost. And a reason web development professionals are willing to invest the time in Vim in the first place is because it sits on almost every Unix and Linux distribution. Since Linux cloud servers host most of the web traffic today, Vim is pervasive. Also, web developers who push HTML documents out into the digital ocean can get by with learning one text editor very well. Since time is precious to web engineers and programmers, often that choice is the editor Vim because it sits on nearly every cloud hosting provider, also known as a cloud VPS hosting service. Okay, for our first example, we're going to stay in Vim, saving an existing file. We will assume we opened an existing file using Vim file name at the command line, and the file looks like this. For now, we will assume the file existed and we modified it. To save the file and stay in Vim, first we have to make sure we leave insert mode by hitting the escape key returning to normal mode. Next type colon W, which appears in the bottom left, and after you hit enter, you will see a message like this. To interpret, file name was written with two lines, 85 characters, success. Now example two, will stay in Vim, saving changes to an unnamed and unsaved file. We will open Vim without a file from the command line, like this. By default, when we open Vim with that unname and unsave file, it opens in normal mode at the default screen. The cursor is placed at the top left position, and if you start typing here, you may get unexpected outcomes because we are in normal mode, which is for navigation. There is no sense in saving a file without making changes, so we will first edit the file by entering insert mode. We can accomplish this one of several ways, and an easy way to remember is with the letter I for insert, and follow that with a comment, like uh, pound for comment saved as new file, as shown here. And then hit the escape key, switching back to normal mode. Next, type colon W, new file, and you need that space in the middle, followed by enter. 
This writes the file after the colon character shifted us to command mode. From there, we can proceed with other edits to the file. Each time from here forward, we will not need to retype the file name, so simply colon w will work as an example one. So as I mentioned, the first link in the description goes straight to this page, and I busted my butt in Vim coding all of this. It's SSL secured and scalable on a scalable platform that's fast, so please make use of it. Okay, back to example three. Here we're going to quit and save Vim changes all at one time. Open that new text file using Vim new file at the command line. Now make one more edit, switching from normal mode to insert mode capital A which navigates to the end of the first line and automatically changes mode. Here let's add a period to the end of the sentence. Okay now to complete this example hit escape to go from insert mode to normal mode then colon WQ going into command mode and telling Vim to quit without saving excuse me with saving and you can imagine that the document is now in that digital ocean sitting on a cloud server somewhere in the world. In the meantime, you will quietly return to your command prompt. And then one more thing to learn about hosting a 200 plus page site. I refer to the digital ocean. My Linux box out there is nowhere near capacity. So see if the code examples help you learn faster. It won't cost you anything. And so far, people love it. Back to example four, edit a file and quit Vim without saving. Of course, at times you just don't wanna save your changes. In our fourth example, open that same file again by typing Vim new file. This time, it, we will intentionally make a mistake, like all Vim beginners do. After it opens, hit DD. And whoops, there goes the line like below. Okay, take a deep breath. This will not cause the cloud server to go down before you panic. There are a number of things we can do, but an easy and harmless one is to quit without saving changes. Everything will be okay. To do this, type colon Q exclamation, telling Vim to go to command mode, quit, and the exclamation tells Vim you don't want to be reminded that the file was not saved your system will return to the command mode. And if you want to confirm for yourself, open the file and verify that nothing was modified. All is right on the World Wide Web, the cloud servers are in line, and the digital ocean is calm and peaceful. More importantly, you kept your job. Okay, that should be enough to get you going. Please comment if you have questions and subscribe for more tips like this one. Thank you for your time today.